Pearl Paints by Abigail Thomas and illustrated by Margaret Hewitt. Pearl got a set of colors for her birthday. She got brushes and paper too, and now Pearl paints. She paints and paints. Don't you want your lunch? asks Pearl's mother. Aren't you hungry? Pearl shakes her head. No, thank you, she says. I'm too busy. Pearl has a brush full of blue. Now a brush full of purple. What's that you're painting? asks Pearl's mother. I don't know yet, says Pearl. She paints some stars. She paints a moon. Oh, I see, said her mother. I see. Pearl paints more moons, big fat moons, little skinny moons, moons in all shapes and sizes. How come so many moons, asks Pearl's brother. I like moons, says Pearl. She has a brush full of orange. Me too, says Willie. He watches Pearl paint. Paint a horse, says Willie. Paint me on it. Pearl paints. She paints and paints. That's a cow, says Willie. That's not a horse. I like cows, says Pearl. Don't put me on that cow, says Willie. Pearl keeps painting. That's not me, says Willie. That's not my hat. Come out and play, calls Pearl's friend Laura. Come out and play with us. Can't, says Pearl. I'm too busy. When will you be through? asks Laura. I don't know yet, says Pearl. After this, there might be another one. You can't just stand there and paint for the rest of your life, says Laura, stamping her foot. You're a little girl. I know that, says Pearl. That's why I can't stop now. You have to go to school tomorrow, says Laura, and runs off to the swings. Outside, the sun is going down. Pearl has a brush full of pink. It's time for supper, says Pearl's father. Pearl eats with her left hand. She paints with her right. She paints in the air above the table. Pearl's hands are stained with color. Her hands are green and blue and red and orange. What are you making now, asks Willie. I don't know yet, says Pearl. I'm just imagining. After supper, Pearl paints. What shall we do, worries Pearl's mother. What shall we think, worries Pearl's father. Let her be, says Pearl's aunt Peg. Painters paint. That's what they do. Pearl's a painter, sure enough. She's running out of color, says Willie. She's almost out of blue. She's almost out of green. Time for bed, says Pearl's father. But I'm not finished, says Pearl. Time for bed anyway, says Pearl's mother. In her dream, Pearl paints. She paints the whole sky. She paints the trees. She paints the ocean and the ocean depth with all the fishes and all the whales. She paints the jungles and the forests and the desert sands which shift and shift again. She paints the camels, she paints the cactuses, she paints the birds in the air and the worms in the ground. Then she wakes up. It's a school day. Pearl is in class. She looks out the window. She's thinking about painting. Wake up, says Miss Featherton. I am awake, says Pearl. What is 12 times 12, asks Miss Featherton. Reddish brown, says Pearl, with a little gray. She's been thinking of a certain kind of squirrel. No more art for a while, says Pearl's mother, reading the note from school. Homework comes first. Pearl has a hard time concentrating on arithmetic. She has a hard time with her spelling words. Everything reminds Pearl of painting. Spell ocean, says Pearl's mother. Spell meadow. Spell mountain. Parrot elephant. Finally, Pearl's homework is finished. And so Pearl paints. She paints and paints. She paints everything in the world she can think of and even some things she can't. In the morning, Pearl has no colors left. Every jar is empty. No more red or orange or green or blue. No more yellow. 
No more pink or black or purple. No more brown or silver. No more white. Ah, but what a picture she has painted. This says mural by Pearl. Word travels fast. Oh my, oh my, says Pearl's mother and father. That's my girl, says Aunt Peg. That's me, says Willie, under the sombrero. Paint me something, say all of Pearl's friends. Paint me something, says Miss Featherton. Pearl is proud, and everyone is proud of Pearl. And best of all, they all brought Pearl paint. <laughs>